what is up guys it is so nice to be back i'm so so i've been gone for so long um for all of you who haven't ever come to my channel before hi i'm Adair alexandra and i like to film videos obviously uh so subscribe if you want to um and then for all of you guys who know me what's up friends i'm sorry I have missed you guys, maybe some of you have missed me, I don't know, but I am back and I'm here to film a video that I've been wanting to film actually for so, so, so long. I just never had the right time to do it. Um, but now, it is the time. From the title, you guys can tell that I will be doing a skin video and talking about my previous acne to where I am now, um, but I want to say really quick before I get started, because I've watched a lot of videos like this before, and most of the time I'm like, you can tell it's sponsored because they've had actually clear amazing skin forever and they've already told you what they used for that so yeah anyway I just want to say real quick that this video is not in any way sponsored all the products I'm um, am using and going to show you guys are ones that I chose by myself like no one ever said hey try this and we'll pay you for it or we'll give it to you for free nothing like that these are all things that I chose and have worked good for me. I just wanted to put that out there real quick because I don't want you guys to think, well, she's only doing this video because she's getting paid to say because one of my products is a big name product. So that's kind of why I wanted to say it. So I'm going to be telling you my like full skin story. Um, so this video might be a little bit longer. I don't know because you guys know that I like to talk sometimes. But I want to tell you everything because if you guys have watched um, some of my previous videos or followed me on Instagram or any social media, y'all know that I... I had some acne, okay. I had like my full um, forehead had broken out, my cheeks, my nose never actually broke out that much surprisingly, um, and my chin had broke out a lot. So I, I did break out everywhere at multiple times. So I actually did break out. I wasn't as bad as some people, I know that. Some people get acne really, really bad, some people get it mild, and then some people hardly get it at all. I feel like I was kind of in between the mild to the bad um somewhere around there also i'm not wearing any makeup in this i know i'm wearing some mascara so it probably looks like i'm wearing makeup but i have absolutely no face makeup on i just wanted some mascara to you know make me look a little pretty or something like that i wanted to film this video fresh faced so that um i wasn't like lying to you guys you guys could actually see my real skin okay so enough of the backstory let's actually talk about products and what i did now i've had perfect skin until 19 years old yep those good old hormones kicked back in for me and they made my face a mess I for a while I was like I don't know what's making me break out like did I am I allergic to something that I didn't know about or is it just hormones and I never went to a dermatologist I'm not the person that likes to go to the doctor or dermatologist for just anything I don't know I didn't think it was like that serious but the weird thing to me was that I had been still using proactive um, and it just kind of all of a sudden didn't work but I didn't realize at first that when I was still using proactive that proactive plus came out and it came out around the same time that I was breaking out so um, it just sent me the new proactive plus and I started I was using it for like at least a month if not more and then I was also realizing like my skin is breaking out what is wrong and then like I didn't even think about oh yeah they have a whole new proactive now like the ingredients were actually really different like super duper different but they definitely had different things in it um, and you know when you use something on your face for so long and you change it to something else like it's your face isn't used to that and it will probably break out a little bit I did come to realize like it definitely was hormonal and because I started around that time having like awful periods and just like when that time of the month came, oh my gosh, it was awful. The cramps were just the worst thing ever and I didn't want to get out of my bed. I just wanted to curl up in a little ball and it was so bad. And um, and I could tell that it wasn't ever that bad before and you could just tell that my hormones were changing and so that's when my acne really started acting up. And yes, I didn't eat the best. I ate out a lot. I ate fast food a lot. I drank hardly any water. Um, and those things definitely do factor in. Not as much as I think some people say it does, but they do factor in. Um, so yeah, for like a year and a half, I tried everything. So I do think that was a little bit of it for a while. I blamed Proactive Plus and I was like, this stuff sucks. Like, why do they do this? But I do think that was a little bit of it and it helped it start faster but then overall I think it was just hormones and my age and everything like that um, so 
after that, I was like, well, I'm done using Proactive. They made me break out. So I tried so many things after that. I tried everything that I had tried before, like um, Neutrogena, Clean and Clear, Simple, Burt's Bees. Um, I even had a friend who had who was selling Rodan and Fields, which I did not want to do Rodan and Fields because they're ridiculously expensive. Um, but I've heard great things about them. No hate or anything. Just really expensive. Um, so... Yeah, I just had tried everything and anything, and so many natural things as well, like mini natural face masks, because I tried using different washcloths wash cloths and different um, pillow, like changing out my pillowcase. I tried so many different things. None of it was really working. Finally, I started using African Black Soap. I had a lot of you guys on here tell me to try that, and that probably helped the best just get my skin under control. Um, and not irritated. It was still broken out everywhere and you could see spots and everything, but it helped it not be irritated anymore. So I feel like that was kind of the, the start to everything slowly getting better. Um, so yeah, I used the African black soap and then I would use some aloe vera gel, which I brought this because I wanted to show you guys. I used that and then I used this as a lotion because most lotions were, I couldn't find a good lotion that wasn't clogging my pores. Um, and then finally I just found out the best one for me to use was just regular Aveeno lotion, especially in the winter because my face gets so dry in the winter, so I really have to have something that helps. So Aveeno actually helped the best. Um, so yeah, after a while I was finally just so done with everything and I was like, you know what? When I stopped using Proactive, I stopped using it because it was Proactive Plus, but what if I go back and find the original Proactive and start using that again? So I did that and within a couple weeks my skin started to clear up and um, within like a month most all my forehead was gone and my chin was slowly getting better um, and my cheeks were still there, especially this side. This side never really broke out much but this side was still all there. Um, but yeah, I could see it getting better so I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to keep using this but I really wanted something that would help exfoliate because I feel like it wasn't exfoliating well. So I went and got a brush, one of those like electric brush spinners. I just got one from Ross, I think. It was like 10 bucks and it worked so well. When I started using a brush, I could tell a huge difference. For anyone who struggles with acne, no matter what brand of soap or um, facial cleansing stuff you use for your face, use a brush. I'm not kidding you. That will help tremendously for you. If you take anything from this video, Get a spinny brush to help with your face. You don't have to use my products, but get a brush. Well, I got a brush and I, like I said, went back to the original Proactive. And it is still a little bit expensive. It's $30 for this kit plus the toner, but I don't use toner. Um, which isn't that bad. Stays for a little while. I could get the bigger sizes, but I just like these. I don't know. In the long run, it's probably a little more, but it's cleared up my face tremendously, as you can tell. So I'm going to keep using it. Um, but yeah, it comes with this, just the cleanser stuff. And then next, you're supposed to put on a toner. And I've never used toner in my life. I used it for a little bit, and I didn't like it on my face, like in high school when I used it. And so then I never used one again. And then I was like, maybe I should try to do the full, like, step-by-step -step and see if that'll help. Still didn't make a difference. So toner just isn't for me. Some people, my mom loves toner. That's like, if she does anything to her face, she has to put on toner. Not, toner's just not for me. So I don't use the toner. I don't know if it's good or not. But I just use the cleansing one, and I use the brush with that. And I usually do that every other night. I use the brush, and then in between, I just use this with my fingers and rub it in um and then i use their lotion their repairing treatment as it's called and it came as like a free gift in the package it comes with a a mask or spot treatment and i actually really really love this stuff when i get a pimple because i still break out guys like i still get pimples here and there my skin's not perfect by any means um just from what it was used to be so i will use this at nighttime usually just put on a couple spots i've never used it as a full mask because it really dries out my face um, I have dry skin by the way I would like to say combination because sometimes it gets oily but for the most part it's dry um, I should have probably said that in the beginning 
but I love this as a spot treatment, overnight spot treatment. So then on to the other things that I think have really, really helped. I also have the Aveeno Targeted Tone Corrector, um, and it kind of helps with like spots and scars and stuff. And my cheek was completely covered with like little scars because I had so many there. My chin was for a while. Um, that one cleared up pretty fast though with scars. My forehead surprisingly never had that many scars, um, but my cheek was really, really bad and I was like, I need something to help with the scarring and um, the dark spots. So I used this stuff and I think that it worked well. I mean, obviously it's gone now, so it must have worked. Um, but yeah, I, I would definitely suggest this, especially if you do have some bad scarring, I would use it. I feel like it takes a while to kick in, but once it does, it really helps. And I think this is a good kind of more natural um, way to do it. And then every night before bed and usually in the morning, actually I don't think I sprayed my face in the morning, so maybe I'll do that on here to show you, but I use the Lush Tea Tree Water Toner. And I guess this could be a toner, but I don't count it as a typical toner. Um, this stuff is great. Tea tree oil is so good for your face and even when I was breaking out really really bad I put on um, tea tree oil on some spots and it helped with the redness a little bit um, but yeah this stuff works so good. I just I usually just shake it. I don't know why probably because it's getting low and then you just spray it all over your face. Now I can't see. Now I do this to dry it off. That stuff works so good and it really refreshes your face even if I didn't if I like didn't put on lotion or something like that it refreshes your face so well so yeah that's pretty much it but then lastly this past couple weeks I've been trying something um new just to help with some irritation because I started getting more spots when it's my time of the month I definitely start to break out again I get at least three pimples if not more um that time of the month just really kills me guys it's just not my friend but I wanted to try something new and I've heard so many people say that witch hazel is good for you so I found this 100% um, witch hazel Walmart's where I got it um, and I just take a cotton pad and put some on there and then rub it all all over my face and I actually think that has helped so well I think it's helped evening out my skin tone um, it's helped with redness and even when I had like some pimples and some whiteheads and stuff. It really helped kind of help take that away and get ready to leave my face, um, however you want to say that. But yeah, I think witch hazel is actually really, really good for your skin. A lot of you guys mentioned it when I was trying to clear my skin up and I wish I would have used it before and listened to you guys because it has worked really, really well. So yeah, that is like my whole face regimen. You've made it so far in this video if you're still here and I truly appreciate that. Last thing that I wanted to say, um, I don't know if I, I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video, but whether or not any of these things do work for you or not, one thing that I need you guys to take away from this is that to always wash your face. I used to be so lazy about washing my face. I would sleep sometimes with a little bit of makeup on my face. I'd be too tired to wash my face at night. No matter how tired you guys are, seriously, take off your makeup and wash your face. It helps so much. I used to hate when people told me that too. Probably it's because, like I said before, I'm stubborn. But it helps so much, guys. I'm not kidding you because it is just amazing how much oil and dirt stay on your face when you don't wash it at night. And I also touch my face a lot. I've touched my face multiple times in this video. So I that's another reason why I really have to. Um, but if you need something to take off your makeup or something that works really well... I started using this simple micellar wipes. They also have a bottle, I think, and I use that for a while, but I like the wipes better. Um, it's just like micellar water, and it just helps take up all the makeup off your face, and it works really, really well, actually. It's a good cleanser and just refresher, and definitely takes like all the dirt off your face. Um, but yeah, just don't, don't skip it. I promise you, in the long run, you will be so happy that I told you to do that if you don't do it now. So, don't forget to wash your face every night even if you're asleep you better wake up and be like oh my gosh I have to wash my face and then you better get up and do it all right well that is just so it for this video you've most likely seen before and after now um and if you have you guys can tell that my face has gotten so much better if you guys have any questions please comment down below um, I don't know if I maybe didn't explain something very well and you want to hear more about it. Um, and also, I think lastly, just to take, I just want you guys to know, like, this has worked obviously for me. It doesn't always work for other people. I know some people who proactive did not help them at all. So, 
It's not going to work for everyone. It would be awesome if some of these things work for you. I will say a brush will most likely work for you no matter what. And I will also probably say that witch hazel will most likely help you as well. Unless if you're allergic to something in there. So this is the end of this super long video. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I helped you in some sort of way or you enjoyed this video. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you did like it, always like it. And share it because as we know sharing is caring and also a lot of people struggle with acne so they might need to hear this video you know maybe they can take some tips away from it so share it guys just go on and share it a little bit and then of course you can subscribe if you haven't because I want to be besties with you let's become best friends and talk about our face and our makeup and life okay oh, wow I'm just so interesting I love you guys like I said stay neat I hope you guys have an awesome week I'm glad to be back on the YouTubes it's been so long and we will talk later. Okay. Bye.